Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's September 29th, 2021. Only a few days left in the season, and home runs are in the air, not only with current players, but historically this is a big day for long balls. We've got some homer-happy people on the field and in the dugout at Shenanigans Card Park today. Plus... We're going to rip some more chrome, because everything is better in chrome. Uh, so let's get started with some legends who said big homer marks on September 29th. First up, the Bambino. 1920 set the record, the single season record at the time, by hitting his 54th homer of that season. Next, we've got Red Sox Rico Petroselli, who... In this card's year, 1969 set the record for a shortstop by hitting his 40th. Uh, really cool, Opeachy, 1969. Look how pink that back is. I've talked a lot about the different shades of pink, but the Opeachy always had a really, really hot pink uh, in 69. Very, very fun card there. Uh, and then, of course, we got Donnie Baseball from my fellow Pinstriper fans because on this day in 1987, Donnie Baseball set the record for Grand Slams by hitting his 6th that season as you know everything is better in chrome we got a nice 80s chrome here very cool card all right plus on the history tip uh, just fyi it's willie mays over the shoulder catch day uh the maddox brothers went head to head in 1986 with greg getting the w uh sandy koufax hit 300 k's in a season for the third time no one this year even has 250 k's uh, okay, so now in the dugout and on the wall, we've got our current sluggers making parks look tiny. Obviously, kicking it off here with Giancarlo Stanton. We call him the Albatross because, uh, you know, he's feast or famine, basically. Contract is a problem, but when he's hot, he is hot. Uh, so he's breaking the hearts of Red Sox fans everywhere uh, during the last re three game set there. Grand Slam, you know, hitting him over the Green Monster. It's just been awesome. Then he went for the hearts of the Blue Jay fans yesterday. Uh, another three-run jack. A nice uh, Gypsy Queen here. 214 out of 250, given to me by a fab sub. And overlooked, uh, overlooked during that stretch, Aaron Judge. I mean, he's basically hit a home run in all those games along with Stanton. Uh, and when they hit him together... Uh, the Yankees do not lose. When the, when these two guys both hit a home run in the same game, Yankees win. So let's hope they're uh, getting hot at the right time, can stay hot, keep it going. Shout out Like a Hot Cards for hooking me up with this card way back uh, when we both first got back into collecting. All right, swinging it uh, around the wall here. Uh, want to show Mitch Hanniger some love. Mitch Hanniger! Had an injury-plagued year last year. You know, he's not a youngster. He's 30. Uh, but, you know, people, he was very high on him when he came in the league. Injury-plagued season. But he is back with a vengeance. Hit his 100th career home run last night. 38 on the season and counting. Since we are ripping chrome, everything is better in chrome. And, you know, I love the pink refractors. Got to show off a little Hanager pink refractor. Of course, Sal Perez just keeps hitting him. Hit another one last night for his 47th, now leading Vlad Jr. for the entire MLB lead by one. Ginter uh, Gold here, the hot box variety. Love these. And don't sleep on the little guys. We talk about it all the time. We got Ozzy Ozzy Elbies. Oi, oi, oi. And Cedric Mullins, both little dudes with 30 homers on the season. Very cool. Pulled this. Got this one for like, I don't know, maybe like 15 bucks when he was uh, coming in the league. I think this is a second year card. Pulled this back when uh, we used to call him Cedric Mullins, the professional autograph signer. But now he's a baseball player. Because he is showing out. And of course, close it out here with Lou Bob, who hit two taters yesterday course had that injury early in the year that put him down for uh, most of the year uh, so he had two yesterday for a combined 900 feet almost those are just some bombs and he looks like he hits them with ease uh, he's got 12 on the year and he's only played 64 games 
Watch out for the White Sox in the playoffs. This is a, uh, I believe I pulled this in a hobby box, maybe a blaster, but it's the, uh, you know, the old Bowman TV set. SP variety. Very cool stuff. So right now there are 35 guys in the league with 30 homers or more. In 2019, 58 different guys had 30 or more homers. Uh, so we still got games left to play. Let's see if uh, how many guys can hit 30 uh, by the end of the season. Should be a, a fun number, I'm sure, because there's a lot of guys just right behind that number. Uh, so we'll keep our eye on that. Okay, ripping time. Of course, Lucky Cup. You've been doing pretty well for us. Step into the box. Show the folks at home your stuff. Everything is better in Chrome, as I repeatedly say. Come on now, get in there, knife. There we go. I'm enjoying Chrome this year. I like the design. I've said it plenty of times. Interesting that we get our pink refractors in the blaster this year. No value packs. Oddly, though, hanger boxes and then the like jumbo boxes and definitely tops just spreading it around as best they can, I think, in light of... Uh, as I was told by Abel in Vegas, uh, he wasn't really 100% sure where he heard it. Uh, it was either on a forum somewhere or something like that. That basically Tops ran out of the material they needed to make Chrome cards. So that definitely put some limitations on uh, printing and all that. And they just, you know, pandemic. So they're mixing it up. Mostly blasters, jumbo boxes, hobby boxes, light hobby box. So we rip into the first pack here. Uh, as always, check the description below for the link to the Clary Goldberg Scholarship. See cards you like, they can be yours. want to mention that because yesterday was my mom's birthday. Uh, miss her every day, but we, uh, you know, we got our first scholarship recipient this year. Very cool. So for all my fab subs out there who are thinking about maybe being a little generous, hey, hit that link and go drop five bucks in the till. No pitchers, no pitchers. But Shohei... I did not mention Shohei in our little home run diatribe here because uh, he, you know, it's no secret he hits home runs. Uh, but I don't think he's hit one in a couple days. I believe he's done pitching for the year, but that's a nice little chrome insert 86 variety. I believe I've pulled this guy a few times. B. Harp was going to mention him in the home run. He's got 35 on the year. Once again, showing people that uh, he is an MVP candidate. Let's see if I pull any other guys that have 35 homers. There's a, quite a few guys that have 35 homers right now. Okay, Lucky Cup, let's have a sip. You like to be in use. We haven't pulled an auto in a little bit, so maybe you're feeling hitterish auto wise. There's our first pink. All right, William Contreras. I don't know if he's back with the uh, the Braves or not. Manny Machado having another pretty solid year. Of course, they got blanked, basically, th other than the Cronut. Uh, Jake from Rake Farm hitting a home run in the ninth inning. Uh, but Walker Buehler just dominated the Padres last night. Snellzilla. And another pitcher. Do love those pink refractors, though. Oh, I saw it. Did you see it? A guy not quite at 30 yet, but probably will have it by uh, by the end of the year. A PC favorite. Maybe if you didn't catch it, you'll see it here at the end. Sam Huff. Syndergaard back, touching 96 miles an hour in his first outing. In like over a year after Tommy John surgery, so congrats to Syndergaard. You're done. I don't know if that's a refractor or number, maybe the Aqua. Let's see, but here's what we were looking at. Juan Soto, maybe the best hitter in the league. Just killing it. Two nice 86s here. Let's see if that Yordan is numbered or if it's just a refractor. Just a refractor. Over 30 homers. Uh, I believe he's got, I don't know if he's got 35 or he may be getting close to 40. Really nice refractor action on that. Ooh, look at that shine. Very pretty. Ooh, this one feels a little, a little 
tight in there. Maybe there's a hit. Let's see. Chrome been a little tough. Nice on the inserts. We haven't had a really big hit. There's Ozzy Ozzy always. Wait, wait, wait. Yon Mankata. Thanks to the sepia refractor. So we're pulling some nice variation of the refractors and whatnot, but no big hit. No number, no auto. Always a fan of Ozzy Albies, though. Very easy to root for. Fun player to watch. Bubik. I imagine you probably got bullied a little bit with that growing up, right? Boob. Boobs. Evan Longoria. There's Mankata again. Oh, the Grish Hammer. Had a little bit of a down year. Tough to say, not down necessarily. Um, but he definitely, in the pandemic year, was having a really strong season. Won the gold glove. Uh, hit close to 300, I want to say. Um, but this year he's hovering around 250. Uh, he's got a dozen homers or so. Uh, and then they keep, you know, he plays a little and then they'll sit him a little. And then when they're not winning, so I just don't understand, just let the kid play. He's a very good player. Still very young. He and Tatis together are great. All right, last two packs. Lucky Cup, you have not delivered for us just yet. There's Butane. These corners are giving me a little trouble here. Casey Mize. Have not heard much about Casey Mize throughout the rest of the year. Clark Schmidt pulled his auto the uh, out of Gypsy Queen, if I recall correctly, and uh, had an okay outing, slapped around a little bit. We'll see if he sticks around for the playoffs. Class now, Tommy John. Butane. Last night, the Dodgers were rocking their onesies, as Mark Grant called it. The Los Dodgers, uh, which I actually think they look pretty cool. They're, that all, they're basically all this dark blue color, the, the blue hat color. Um, and the hat says Los Dodgers. Uh, really, really cool. Bueller just went out and dominated. I think he had three hits, no runs. Just crushed him. And I loved it. I, I finally heard it uh, a game ago, but then I heard it again last night in the game. When, when uh, Walker strikes somebody out in Dodger Stadium, the PA announcer plays the Ferris Bueller sound, chicka -chicka, which is awesome. That's great. Very well done to the Dodgers PA broadcaster. All right, last pack mojo. Do you have it? Upton, who I keep asking myself and others periodically, is he a Hall of Famer? Uh, he's got 350 home runs. And let's take a quick look at the... Oh, we got something there. Oh, Rio Muto. See right here. He's got uh, 307 by the time they printed this card. Almost 1,000 ribbies. Average, uh, 265, not great. But, I mean, just with, with longevity, I mean, he's racking up the numbers. We'll have to see if he can pull a, a Harold Baines by the time he's retired. Very nice Real Muto refractor. Reese Hoskins making another appearance. Pulled that really cool bat relic out of Ginter. Um, the bat relics are very uh, prevalent in Ginter this year, more so, I would say, than uh, Jersey relics. But was on pace to have a monster year and then got hurt. Bummer. And I believe this is like my third Brady Singer 86 rookie card. I feel like I've seen it a lot. Well, there you go, everybody. Pretty good break. No monster hit. That's kind of per usual here in Shenanigans Card Park. But as you can see, we've still got a lot of nice cards to show off. Always enjoy ripping chrome. Guaranteed we'll see a little bit more chrome come the eight breaks of Hanukkah, which falls right after Thanksgiving this year. So it's not going to interfere with your Christmas plans or anything like that. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned. We've got hobby boxes, jumbo boxes. It's going to be a really, really fun eight breaks of Hanukkah. Uh, we'll see how it shakes out. Maybe there'll be giveaways. I really, I just don't know what to expect. And that's part of the fun here in Shenanigans Card Park. But leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of today's break. Looking forward to reading those. Slam that like button, make sure you're subscribed, tell all your friends, and I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.